my Walmart for months now has said that there are no Imperial Probe droids, and it still continues to say that. Despite that, my wife and I last week when we were going grocery shopping found this sitting on the Lego shelf. And for $48, which is $12 less than what it is posted for on lego.com, I definitely had to get it. So let's see what we got. So unboxing the set, we'll cut open this uh, tape here and here. And like a lot of Lego enthusiasts, at least for a while, I'd like to keep my box in place. Let's see what we've got inside. Very uh, nice, we've got our uh, accessory stickers. Got your one of a kind instruction manual, only for the probe droid. And you also got bag numbers all the way up to six, it looks like. Wow, that's a lot for a pretty small build, I'd say. Normally, I think I'd only get to four, but looks like we will have six bag sets to go through. So, let's build. And here we have our finished product. It's impressive. I love how the head swivels, and it really is accurate to the film. It, I was looking at it, comparing it to both the box here and then also to some other pictures online, and it, they did a really good job with their detail, except one thing that does bother me, and that's these two antennae. And the two antennae are supposed to be, I mean, you can even see it in the box here, they're supposed to be a lot shorter, and LEGO could really easily have made a piece that was only about this tall, but instead they made them really tall, which kind of looks out of place with it, but you know, it is what it is when you take creative or licensing with building these sets. One other thing that I'm not super thrilled about is the way that they designed these arms. I mean, it is a really cool build design. I liked it, but they have this tendency of sagging. So as you can see, they don't really want to always hold up in place. And I guess you can just move it into different positions in order to get them to hold, but they just use maybe some more of the actual snap together pieces instead of the uh, poles that they used, it would have been uh, a lot better of a set. But that's really minor stuff compared to how impressive this set is, especially for a 18 plus set. What I like is the functionality where you could really play with it. If you're a kid, you can take it out of here and you can hold this as if it were a handle and it comes right out. The piece inside is flat so it's not actually stuck in there and then you could sail it around and hunt for uh, the rebel base or for Chewbacca, Han Solo. Overall like I said it's really really nice design. I love the way these legs hold together in different places. Again not a huge fan of the way that they tend to sag a bit but if you're just gonna keep it on display it's gonna really hold together well and you can position it in a way that it'll just be fine and it can just sit there. Another really cool thing about the set is the uh, sign and they did a really good job with this detail of making it look like it's all snow covered makes it really look like Hoth and I know that the background that I have it kind of blends into it which is perfect I mean if you want to display it and give it a white background it's gonna fit right in it looks like it's right out of the Hothian landscape funny thing is I included all these extra pieces here because they really did have a lot of extra pieces and it's not just your normal you know little individual gold studs and white studs and all these other pieces but they needed to have these caps for on the top of uh, the dome and they put them here and here, but it comes in these packs. It's just like when you get the packs for uh, either the tools or for uh, the visors for the clone troopers or Mandalorians. And instead of just needing these and just including these, they have this saw and these other pieces, which is great. I mean, if you want to have some other pieces, if you have uh, the old Power Miner sets or some other set that you want to use uh, tools in, that's great. But it just came with a lot of extra pieces. And then obviously your debricker. So overall, I really like this set. It was one of my favorite builds for sure. All right, so here's another really cool thing that we're going to do here. And I don't really see many people do this online, but for me, I do not have my room set up to display things yet. So we are actually going to put this back in the box. And what I'd recommend is I obviously not going to take the entire thing piece by piece apart. That's kind of crazy. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the two antennae and put them inside the box. And then I'm going to remove the head. It comes off in one piece. And then I will remove this from the track that it's in. Remove this bottom. 
uh, stand and slide that in. I'm probably just gonna end up removing all of the legs. It's just, that way they aren't getting crushed in weird ways and popping off everywhere. But you can just take off all of its legs. Now you just have the little body here. Slide the legs into the box. Slide this in here. And then all you have left is the stand and you can slide it in here. And then I just put all of my little extra pieces in here. I'll put the new bricker in there. And almost forgot, just gotta get these instructions in here on top. Can't not have those. And I will go ahead and seal here and here with tape. And then we are good to go. And it will see the light of day in however long it takes me to build my room. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a really cool set. I really highly recommend it if you like the original series. And it's a lot different than most other of the display sets. You normally have uh, some sort of ship from either the Rebels or the Imperials. And it's nice to have something that's just a little bit more out of the ordinary.